What's up everyone and welcome back to Junk Camaro Garage. Today we are going to be adjusting hydraulic lifters and valves and stuff. So uh, let's get to it. Alright, so this is where we're going to be starting off. I got the valve cover off. I got these all loosened up. Well, for the most part, they're loosened. Well, loosened enough. Anyways, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each one, tighten them down until the push rod doesn't go up and down anymore. See, that one's still tight, but I'm going to do that. Go through it, turn the engine over a quarter turn, go through it again, tighten them all up as much as I can, another quarter turn, tighten them all up as much as I can, and so on for, I don't know, probably about five or six times, just, just to make sure I got them all where they're supposed to be, and uh, yeah, then after that, you go spin it around half a turn for the preload since these are hydraulic rollers that's what you kind of need to do so yeah i'm gonna go do that now all right so here's an example of one it's loose jiggly so now we're gonna tighten it down till there's no more jiggle up and down okay. a couple cranks kind of hard to do one hand test it so move, moves up and down a few more cranks too much all right time to back it off a little too loose now tighten it a smidge perfect so now just get this out of the way see Still a little wiggly, but no more up and down. Now I'm gonna go through, do the rest, spin this over quarter turn, repeat the process, and then, uh, yeah, that's essentially how I do it anyways. I know there's a bunch of different other methods that people use, who, and people will say, oh yeah, this is the right way, you shouldn't do it this way, da 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 da. But, uh, you know, it's just the way I do it. So I'm going to do that and then I'll get back to you guys once it's all done and put back together and we'll take it for a test drive. Alright, so I got the rotation done. Everything's all hunky-dory. No more going up and down. So now we got to adjust for preload. And I do a half a turn. So, do it there. Bring it up quarter, quarter, quarter. Because two quarters equal a half. Now I'm just going to go do that to the rest of these, put the valve cover back on, and then put the spark plugs back in and get everything where it should be, and then fire it up and uh, see if it makes any difference. All right, it's all put back together. Let's go and uh, fire it up and see if it made any sort of difference I guess okay now make sure it's a neutral couple pumps oh fires right up Take a look. Well, no noticeable oil leak so far. So I guess that's a plus. Ugh. 
can't really tell if that was leaking before or it's leaking now. Let me just give it a... Let's see if I get the tape this up. My guess is it, it was leaking before. I'll see if I can tighten it up real quick and then uh, take it for a test drive. Alright, so sorry about the funky camera angle. I just kind of dropped the phone, hooked up to my little phone holder that I made, and it's on the dash. But anyways, let's go see if it runs any better. Like, in my opinion, I think it... It definitely idles better. So, I probably goofed up. Oh yeah, that's better. So now that we're in Mexico, we can test on her a little bit. You know, Mexico's looking awfully green this year. Well, all right, let's fucking, well, let's wait till this car goes by. All right, one, two, three, go. total advance but who knows they could have moved a bit or uh, you know maybe I still need to even rejet it but anyways thanks for watching if you haven't yet please subscribe I'm almost to a thousand followers oh, oh, getting first and it would be pretty sweet if I could hit that and uh Thousand followers is kind of a big point in the whole YouTube thing. So, thanks for watching. 